Hey golfers, I'm Drew Maholder, Second Swing Golf, joined today by Michael Geiger here in the Tour Van at Second Swing Minnetonka for another head-to-head -head iron comparison for you. Today, it's the player's distance category, and specifically two new ones here in kind of the second half of 2023. Mm -hmm. I've got the 2023 P790, and you've got the new 2023 T200. Yep. So um, both have been already, their kind of name is out there in the uh, minds of golfers for players distance iron models, yep. but uh, there's some new improvements this year, so we gotta test them head to head. Um, I guess, first of all, well, before we get started to kind of dive in, just your thoughts on these two models, what you know of them and, sure. and testing maybe you've done before, or what you've heard feedback from other golfers. Like you said, two hugely popular models. I think, you know, the player's distance category. It's so interesting because it, it really, well, you know, we'll get to this later, but it covers a wide range of players simply mm -hmm. because of the, the rising combo sets. Yep. So, you know, even though you might be a, a low single digit handicap, this is still gonna be really beneficial for you because yeah. these might be, you know, this is the perfect irons to fill out that kind of three, four, five range. Yep. In terms of these two, uh, you know, players distance, you know, they're always seeking to provide sort of two things, obviously distance and without, you know, kind of robbing it of too much feel. Mm -hmm. I think it's really interesting that just visually, these two irons have gone in two very different directions. You know, the, the TaylorMade is very classic, kind of confidence inspiring, kind of larger profile. And then the Titleist T200 is something that's not too dissimilar from the T150 or even the T100 in terms of, you know, more compact face. Right. I think the in, in past uh, testing of the past models for P790, because this is now the fourth iteration of the P790 iron, mm -hmm. um, this has been a very long and powerful iron that yeah. typically has outperformed in the distance category anyway, its competitors. And even if it's loft-wise, maybe not as strong as some others in the players mm. category, it is still among the furthest, if not the furthest in testing. So yep. uh, TaylorMade continuously goes for and achieves ball speed, um, kind of that hot carry distance and total distance is always there with this club. Whereas the T200, not that it's not fast or does not have the distance, but in the past, that one's been a little bit more on the consistency factor or high launch. Yep. You're getting that ball in the air for golfers that might need a little bit more height. So that's, I guess, my hypothesis for this is that those trends will continue, but I guess we'll never know until we hit the shots. Yeah, I, another thing I'm looking forward to, just kind of as a, as a as a kind of an epilogue to that, is really the sound. I think mm -hmm. that's going to yeah. be potentially a big difference. That usually kind of jives with kind of the the hot mm -hmm. distance face. It'll be interesting to see if these irons, which is longer, and if it's longer, you know, is there that kind of um, kind of that loud audio? Right. Yeah, that will be another big piece. Very different builds between the two irons, but uh, they are kind of trying to achieve similar purposes for golfers. Right. So um, we've got the Dynamic Gold S300 shafts in each here, standard law, uh, excuse me, standard length and loft. So uh, without further ado, I think it's time to hit some golf shots. Let's do it. So Mr. Geiger, starting first with the P790, um, mm -hmm. I did mention standard length and loft. Those standard lofts are. 30 and a half for the P790, 31 for the T200. So um, slight difference. Sure. Um, if, you know, we can maybe think about that when we see the distance numbers and perhaps if the yeah. P790 is longer, there's a little kind bit of, of a tiebreaker. Yeah. yeah, yeah, there you go. Start with the toe ball. Mm -hmm. So we'll do the, um, I guess the same format we have in past head to head iron test. We'll take maybe six of eight. Yeah. That sounded pretty good there too. So, first of all, talk to me about the the look of the club. Sure. Um, what you see, you know, I know we've actually done some testing this morning with more players' irons, so I, it's probably a little bit larger for you to look at than than what you're used to. It, it's really the kind of the prototypical when I think of a player's distance iron. Yeah. I, I kind of, in my head, I sort of conjure up the P790. It's yeah. you know. It, it's sort of shaped like a player's iron, and then everything's just kind of scaled up. So it's mm -hmm. just a, the thicker top line, okay. thicker yep. sole, bigger head, um, very, very confidence yeah. inspiring. There's some ball speed. Oof, duh. Yeah. Okay. 141 smash, 133.3 on the ball speed. And we did clear 200 on total distance with that one. And I would, I would probably, I, I, I know you, I think, well enough to know you, you're not happy with the swing in the sense of the face being open like that. Face is open. I mean, the fact that it's still carried 195 yeah. with, you know, four degrees of face open, that's, that's impressive. 
curious about this one here too, because that was maybe a slight miss yes. too. Yeah. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be watching the spin on the these shots, whether it's, you know, center face yeah. or slightly center face, you know. Because that'll be, that's a big indicator on these irons. Definitely. How consistent they are. That was smoke. That was I could, probably going to be I could far. hear and see that one. That was yeah. smoke. Okay. That is launched. Yeah. We've got a 142 smash factor, 135 ball speed, and we got almost 200 carry. Yeah. Goodness gracious, That's, that is some speed. That is hot. Yep. Wow. Okay. Two really good swings back to back there. There's definitely a, there's, it's, well, I guess we did just do a video that um, you can probably see on the YouTube channel now of players irons. Yeah. Comparing. And um, this is definitely louder. Than, yes. than that. Uh, I'm curious on the T200. In the past, I know that was a big thing for them was trying to improve the sound mm -hmm. of this new T200. So the, the, the past T200 was certainly louder than yeah. the previous P790. And so I think it seems to me like P790 has gotten even a little bit quieter than the past one. So I'm curious to see if the Titleist one has to. Yeah. There's another one. We get to 200 on the carry. Ooh, we're getting close. <laughs> How about the feel of this club? And speak a little bit on that. And I know it. Again, it's a it's a hollow body explosive iron. Yeah. So there's a certain expectation on what that. I, feel I think it's is. A, a reasonable step up from past P790 models. I think you know there is still that slightly louder sound. Yeah. But it's not clicky. It's yeah. not. Oh, you no. know, it's, it feels very powerful. So, yeah. um, it you know it's going to be louder than. Yeah. Your, your standard player's iron, but uh, the, f the feel is solid. Mm -hmm. That was a, a couple thin. grooves low. Okay. So we've got some cuts to make here, if you will. Sure. Um, we'll first start here. Well, actually, probably just do these first two, honestly. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, we'll go with these first two, and then we'll have our set of six here. Um, so first looking at dispersion, I know you do like to hit that kind of that fade. Mm -hmm. um, it did show up there. And I think what's jarring, I shouldn't say jarring, but at first, first of all, the, I will be surprised if the T200 gets this far up in the carry. Yeah. I, I, I would be surprised. And it could happen, but um, I think there's a lot of pop with this club that when hit well, it flies, you know, tremendously far. I was impressed though with the spin consistency on how these longer shots, you know, where you really connected like one, four, two and one, four, one smash mm -hmm. where that spin is still hovering in the mid five thousands with a, the rest of the swings there really, you know, you had a couple maybe that were like low face here that kind of skewed the spin up a little bit. Sure. But to see that spin when it hit, when it hit well, like really well to stay up high enough where you're going to get stopping power, you're going to hit the ball, um, you know, hundred and, 10, 120 feet in the air, yeah. I think was really good. Any other um, pieces of information that you take from this or dispersion on the No, I, I think while the uh, the ball speed fluctuated a little bit, I think it's it's always encouraging. One of the big check marks for me with an iron is, can I hit that fade? Am, yeah. I, gonna, am I missing left? And, you know, there were a couple that, that snuck a bit right, but I'm if I'm going to miss, I want to miss right. So mm -hmm. that's, that's yeah. essentially what I'm going for. Yeah, I mean... You're not you're you're not looking to miss left, and especially with this club, missing left on a player's distance iron can be trouble because yes. that spin goes way down. The distance will then go shoot up, and you know a lot of times missing left and long is much worse than missing short and right. right. And so you can still rely on your your kind of cut there and your safer miss right. with this club. So, yeah. Um, all right. The T200 now, I think I'll let you grab that. I'll set up here TrackMan, and then I'm going to first sort of ask you for just how those clubs look yeah. right up against each other. Uh, I imagine there's some differences there simply on that look at address. I mean, while they look different, the actual the actual shape of the irons isn't too different. They, okay. You know, the, in terms of the ruffle, kind of the proportions, they all sure. look pretty comparable. It's just the, the T200 is just, everything is a little more compact. It's, okay. um, you also have kind of that kind of shinier chrome finish, but yeah. um, 
it's just a slightly thinner top line, a slightly smaller sole. Everything is just a bit more compact. Yeah, it's kind of, I, I, certainly you can tell from here that the, the P790 has got that kind of brushed satin sort yeah. of look to it, whereas the, the T200 is all chrome, seems like. Yep. Um, but then I, in, again, from my naked eye and holding them right before we started the testing, it seemed like the T200 was smaller. Um, I don't have exact measurements on anything, but it seemed like it just, the T200 visually appeared to be a little bit smaller. Definitely. Uh, I'm curious on the sound if that sort of trend merges into the sound where it maybe sounds a little bit softer. Let's find out. Yeah, that's some good ball speed right away. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Wow, that's, that's, I'm surprised right away even. I didn't think we'd get that close to the one, what was it, 198.9 or something? Is <laughs> something like P790 that. 90 carry was at, the, at its best. Right away on the first swing, we've got 197.3. Yeah. And also, swing numbers are pretty darn good there, too. I'm curious what you think of the sound. It felt just a bit softer, maybe a touch I thought quieter. so, too. There was a thud, but it, I didn't think it was as... It's a lower-pitched thud. Right, not quite like sharp. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't sharp. There you go. That'll be high the right. Speed a little bit face open there. Yep. Okay, okay. Still 188 carry for... Yeah. I think uh, 16 well, yard you hit phase. that one square in the center. I'm looking at the, mm -hmm. so square that face up and that thing's probably That's... where that first ball was. Yeah. Ooh, that is smashed. That might seek 200. Yep, there it is. Wow. One, four, zero smash. I just, I, it's, I saw, I keep thinking when yours, cause most of your shots take off just right of the like line on the screen. Yeah. And then they fade a little bit and they're just a little bit right, you know, like your fade. But then when they take off left, I'm like, oh, that's going to go left. And it's going to be, you know, but to see the fade still be there yeah. is impressive. I mean, that's a really, really good golf shot right there. There's that potentially a, a face low. open there. A little low, little Okay, open. low in the face. Tiny bit low in the face. Talk to me about um, the feel. We talked about sound. Yeah. We mentioned the sound. Maybe it's, it's not like forged soft sound, no. but it's softer probably, a little yeah. bit lower pitch. How about the feel? The feel is, you know, both sound and feel, they're not, they're still in the same, you know, ballpark as, yeah. as the P790. They're not, um, you know, you're, you're suddenly not talking about a Mizuno blade, but yeah. it's exactly just kind of a step softer, mm -hmm. a step quieter, um, still reasonably hot mm -hmm. as, you, as you see, but um, definitely more, uh, more players than distance. We're okay. talking about players distance. Sure. Okay. How was that one? That's solid. You yeah. know, his face is a little open, but okay. you know, for 190 for uh, you know, quite a bit of fade, that's that's still pretty right. pretty it's solid. Clearly this club has more pop, I think, to me than I thought. Yeah. I, I and I haven't done an official comparison. I think it is also spinning a little bit more than the P790. Seems like it. Yeah. Again, this is, you know, I we have a few more shots to hit yet, but that's just an initial mm -hmm. gut feeling after looking at some of the numbers and skimming them over. Yeah. That was hit well. Is it going to fade back? Uh, it's yeah, pretty cool. straight. It's hit well though. I mean, yep. we got another 200 carry ball there. Yep. I'm impressed because, like you mentioned, with the P790, so far there's there's not a really left miss, right? Yep. Even that one, you would typically see that ball go further tech. I mean, because right. that spin should drop a little bit and it, it dropped ever so slightly. Yep. Um, to see that one still kind of main, you can maintain control over that one. Definitely. Another one hit really well. Yeah. Yep. A lot of one, four, zero smash uh, factors with this T200 here. It feels really, really solid. Mm -hmm. it's a touch. Interesting. Maybe a slight miss, yep. if barely, but that's actually a, that's perhaps the straightest ball of the day. So let's get our eight shots here and we will go to no, not this one. Um, I'm trying to go where the face angle was open. This one, that one's over there, and probably this one maybe. Yeah. yeah, I'm looking at the map as I do this too. So we got, we've got our six, 
from each club here. Mm -hmm. you want to go look at numbers or dispersion first? Last let's, uh, let's start with dispersion. Okay. Bring up the dispersion map here. Orange is the T200. White is the P790. Mm -hmm. um, so, and part of this too, and the, there's going to be a distance differential here that actually T200 won the, won the distance, um, as you can see on the map. It's a little bit surprised to me. I think part of that is just that you were squaring the face a little bit better, yeah. the T200, thus not losing the distance off to the right a little bit. So I think distance is probably pretty comparable if you were to really definitely do a longer, larger sample size here. But what else do you see kind of with this dispersion map here? Uh, they're just, I mean, they're, they're very similar. I mean, you mentioned mm -hmm. just maybe a couple that I squared up a bit that are kind of dragging that orange cone over to the left. But they're essentially <laughs> essentially the same shape. Uh, you see that the tie list is maybe a touch more consistent mm -hmm. distance wise. Sure. Um, but they're both clubs. I felt very comfortable hitting my preferred shape. Yeah. Uh, you didn't see the... The, the, the super long left, which is always the, the fear with these. And um, really, uh, for a player's distance iron, for a ball that's traveling 200 yards, that's, uh, those aren't yeah. the worst dispersions in the world. Yeah, I again wanted to touch on this shot here, which is the farthest left one of the day. And that's the, the issue sometimes with, especially someone like you who hits a fade mm -hmm. um, and plays a fade over and over. And the one time where that, doesn't fade or it stays straight. Yeah. The concern then for a lot of people is, oh no, sit, you right. know, bite. Like you're yelling at that ball to sit down. Definitely. And this one, it went, actually didn't even go as far as this probably, which would, I think you would say is your best swing of the day here. Yeah. Um, so that's a good thing to me is to see that spin drop just ever so slightly. And that ball is still very much in control and you're not losing that to the deep left bunker or in the hazard, you know, just past the green, right? Like right. that ball is still, safe and able to be played. So um, the numbers here, my gut feeling was kind of, I mean, the spin is slightly higher. Yep. But two very, very similar clubs in this performance, if you look at it. I mean, mm -hmm. he did swing the T200 slightly faster, which is creating that slightly higher ball speed. But in reality, the smash factor, they're both very efficient. Um, what else do you see here, Michael? Yeah, I think, you know, I look at the sort of the plus or minus numbers, I think, uh, kind of like I sort of intuited based on the dispersion maps, but the ball speed is just about a mile and a half more mm -hmm. consistent, the plus or minus. Um, you know, yep. you see the spin rate, very comparable, but you know, the tie list fractionally more consistent there. But, you know, numbers across the board are, are pretty consistent. You see the height numbers almost yeah. identical. Um, so really two clubs that, you know, while they look fairly different, don't perform all that different. Right, yeah. They. It is funny because we we sort of differentiated them a lot. I mean, yeah. we created this dichotomy at the beginning of how they are different in a lot of ways. There's a lot of difference in the construction and the materials mm -hmm. used and all these things. Um, but the, the shape and the performance, ultimately, like you mentioned the shape was maybe a little bit smaller, but proportionally it was very similar. Yes. And then the, the performance, I mean, same smash factor. I mean, if you were to move this P790 club speed to 97.0, it's probably a very similar ball speed. Yep. And you see the launch was a tiny bit higher with P790, which could be potentially attributed to this face angle being a Probably. little bit more open and kind of that added loft there. But I think overall, these are very, very similar clubs. Um, they're both fantastic. I think the what it comes down to for you probably is going to be, like you as in the viewer, is going to be maybe the look and feel yep. element that we talked about. And if you prefer maybe a louder club or maybe you prefer something that feels a little firmer, I think P790 might be the winner, but as you mentioned on the T200, just slightly softer, maybe a little bit more compact. Look. Yeah, we sort of started at the top. I feel like the TaylorMade has typically historically been a bit longer and louder. Yeah. The Titleist has been a bit softer and a bit shorter. The Titleist was longer than I expected, yeah. and the TaylorMade was a bit softer than I expected. So they yeah. really, they are they both have kind of shored up their defici deficiencies. Yeah. And really, I think it, at the end of the day, it sort of comes down to just user preference over kind of yeah. which one you prefer the look of. I, I will say, I really think Titleist did well in um, tuning the sound of the T200 from the past model. I know that was, I think I mentioned it before, that mm -hmm. was the big piece of feedback that they got from, you know, pros and amateurs was yeah. the sound of the T200 in the past model was no bueno in a lot of cases. And so they, really fine tune that I think really well. And I think that's part of um, why it's been an already a big hit in the fitting. Huge. Day. So 
Uh, Michael, thanks for joining today. Really good test here. Uh, I think both these irons are fantastic, yeah. and I think there's a reason they're already, like we mentioned, they're dominating in the fitting bays already. So if you're in that market, if you will, if you're a player's distance type of player, looking for a new iron set, more distance, uh, better feel, all of these things that we talked about today, these are two really good options that you should get fit for at Second Swing. Schedule that fitting today, and we'll get you set up. So thanks again, Michael, for swinging today. Some really good swings up there, and uh, again, two really good irons. You got it.